Fellas, AC here. Today I'm going to review an outstanding modern masculine for you fellas. Prada Long Intense. This is the bottle. The entire long line has a specific color. So this one has a beautiful box as well. And you know, generally I don't tend to buy fragrance bottles which are above 50 and up. But I found myself the biggest bottle I could lay my hands on. This is a 150 ml bottle and I bought that. I like this one so much and I'm so confident that I'm going to be able to use it over and above every single fragrance in my collection. This is one of my absolute favorites for cold weather. Oh, beautiful fragrance fellas. This was released in 2017 and the perfumer for this one is Daniela Roche Andrière. She's done the entire long line and each one of the long line fragrances, there are four of them, are just amazing. I find these two the pick of those four. And I've got these two in my collection. This is 100ml. I love this one the most. Now, this one is also compared to Diorome Intense because of the combination of iris and leather. I can confirm Diorome Intense and this one have very little in common. Although the leather note and the iris combination might remind you of the Diorome DNA. But this is a pretty unique fragrance, otherwise I wouldn't have got, got a 150ml. So, how does it start off? It starts off like a lemony green leathery scent. Yeah, lemony green. And this is basically because of, and it's sli slightly soapy as well. This is because of three things. Iris, as I alluded to, which gives it that green, shimmery, silky feel with lipsticky vibe leather which has been embellished it's very modern calf leather very very gentle leather almost as if you've got a very gentle pair of hand gloves made of very fine calf leather no skank and amber that's that's why the fragrance has got this warmth and this is how it remains but this this fragrance has got a very special quality it's got two more notes and that's sandalwood and patchouli there's also tonka in the fragrance, which I can't smell, or smell, but I can feel it. Tonka is the one which gives the fragrance the silky, radiant quality. This is a fragrance that radiates off your skin. Just like Reflection Man, you know, it has this quality of reflecting off your skin. And that's what gets me every time. So that's how it starts off. So lipsticky, leathery, green smell. The fragrance develops a little bit and the longer it stays on your skin the better it smells the soapy quality and the woody quality just keep going up and down as the fragrance as the day passes yeah so here this is much less um sort of there's a slight hint of sweetness as i said with the lipsticky vibe there's much less lipstickiness here so there's this woody soapy smell with leather woody soapy so sandalwood or whatever compound they have used that smells like sandalwood uh, is giving it that beautiful, charming, elegant feel about it. And leather obviously is very manly. So manly, charming and elegant. That's how I would call this fragrance. What a lovely little fragrance this is, guys. Another thing is when you spray this fragrance, you will feel that this fragrance is thin and it is thin. It doesn't have many layers. But don't mistake this fragrance for a weak juice. It's a very, very strong juice. So let's get to, and it doesn't change a lot. As I said, there's going to be an interplay. Yeah, uh, There's going to be this woody, warm feeling, and then soapy, woody, warm. Sometimes the warmth goes down, depends on the weather. So there's a little bit of complexity. But most, most of the time, this smells like a beautiful, gentle, leather-based fragrance. Gentle, yeah? That has this texture, or texture of silk that's how this is the entire long line is like that but very unique yeah the soapiness is amped up in this fragrance what a beautiful execution this is for this so let's talk about pros and cons number one pro the more i wear this fragrance the more i get to know that this is how a modern masculine smell should be yeah so if you talk about masculines the 80s used to have this fougere you know barbershop like smell that was the 80s signature then came the 90s aqua di gio and uh, cool water so they brought in this aquatic um, 
signature. This is the modern masculine, this decade's masculine signature. It's soapy, leathery, iris-like smell, which obviously was pioneered by Dior Rome. And more I wear this, this is how I feel when I wear this. It's a masculine, beautiful masculine, modern. Number two is the compliment factor. I've worn this to work, yeah? And one of my colleagues just said, you smell extremely elegant, yeah? And you know, this is a compliment magnet. The kind of compliments you should expect when you wear this entire line is of elegant, smart, um, handsome, modern, stylish. Those are the compliments you'll get, but you'll definitely get compliments. This uh, one thing is for sure. This is a compliment magnet. The third is the performance. You know, I said before, this is a thin juice, but it's got tremendous performance here. Yeah? I'm talking 12, 14 hours of longevity. I'm talking at least six, seven hours of projection. So watch the sprays. Don't go more than four. If you're putting it on your shirt, don't go more than two, unless you're going out. If you're going to wear this to work in cold weather, don't go more than two on your shirt. It will really fill up the room. In terms of uh, sillage, very strong. If you go two sprays on your shirt, Whenever you move, you'll be reminded you're wearing a very fine fragrance. So that's the third. The fourth one would be the versatility. This is a cold weather fragrance, but you can scale it and scale uh, up and down. You can wear this to work. You can wear this to um, uh, informal occasions. You can wear this for a movie night. You can wear this for a date night. As long as it's cold weather or cool-ish weather, it doesn't do very well in hot weather. It becomes a bit cloying and sweet. Uh, it's not sweet at all. Uh, in winter but in summertime when the heat is coming down on you it tends to go sweet the fifth positive about this fragrance is the value for money now the kind of fragrance this is the kind of performance this is the kind of wearability it has this thing cost me 80 bucks 150 so roughly 0.5 uh, pence per ml whatever it converts to the dollar so the kind of scent I have, the amount of enjoyment I get from wearing this, the value for money is very high. Although for some people, this would be in the very high bracket. So yeah, value for money, to me, it's pretty high, right? Now let's come to the downsides. The downside is limited wearability. It has to be cool or coolish weather for you to enjoy this fragrance. It doesn't work as in warm weather. I cannot think of any other downsides. People might say this is bit like Dior Rome Intense or Dior Rome, I don't see the similarities. I own uh, Dior Rome Intense, Dior Rome Parfum, I own two Prada Lombs. This is a unique scent. It is. It has got very little similarities to the Dior Rome Intense. So it's definitely uh, not a redundant purchase. In terms of, I think I've covered everything. So the marks I would give this is 8 out of 10 and an emphatic 8 out of 10. This will really, really enthrall you if you were to buy this fantastic fragrance guys enjoy yourself take care bye bye